Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alejandro and I'm currently a performer on Board Resilient Lady within Happenings Cast 1. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what parties we have on Board Resilient, what you should expect from them, and then what you should pack to make sure that you stand out and look amazing at these parties. I'm going to talk to you about these parties in chronological order. So let's dive right in. Now, the first party that I'm going to tell you guys about is actually called Let's Set Sail, and that is Virgin Voyage's Sail Away Party. It's going to take place on day one, obviously, as we're sailing away from our home port, which is currently Athens. It's going to take place up on deck 15 at the Aquatic Club, which is our fancy term for the pool. So you can be hanging out on deck 15 or 16. You actually get to meet the entire Happenings cast. It's very rare for the rest of the voyage that all 12 of us will be at the same place at the same time. So I think it's a great time to grab some bubbly, check out the port, and then watch as we sail away. And we'll actually be giving away complimentary bubbly for 30 minutes so my suggestion is to just double fist it baby it's a great place to just hang out meet people and then we'll actually have a little special performance for y'all um and we'll actually have this really fun toast moment where you get to get introduced to all of your 12 happenings cast members so i wouldn't miss out on this one um even if you just want to pop by grab some bubbly and then before heading to dinner i highly suggest going to let set sale so that's going to be party number one Now the second party I want to tell you about is our pajama party. Now our pajama party is a fan favorite. Now pajama party will take place on day one, um, or should I say night one? I guess I should say night one. It takes place on night one, should weather permit. We're going to be on the athletic club deck 16 aft. That's weather permitting. If the weather is being a little funky, if it's going to rain, we're going to move the party down into the manor. I'm here to tell you, I've done them both and both are phenomenal. One is great because you have to see the stars. The other one's great because you're in a club. So two different vibes, but both equally as amazing. Now, what to wear obviously it's in the name it's pajamas um, I will say this is probably the one besides Scarlet Night that people will dress up the most for you don't want to be that person who's not in pajamas but I will say there's plenty of people not in pajamas so if that's just not your vibe and you don't know where them no stress but if you feel like joining in on the fun go get some pajamas a ton of people buy them on Amazon they don't have to be anything flashy but I will tell you we will 100% have the people who are decked out in full onesies and then we'll have the people who are just like lounging in sweatpants um so really it's a broad spectrum of what you need to wear to it but just throw on some pajamas because if not I'm gonna walk right up to you and if you've been on before you know I will and I'll say wear the pajamas things that you should expect about pajama party on resilient are actually it's brand new we actually have a pajama contest so I will say if you'd like to dive in to themes this is the one that you want to wear something really fun at because you might win a prize if we find you also I will say for the contest you sometimes just have to be at the right place at the right time it happens quickly and so we just have to see you and grab you um so if you are in decked out pajamas and unfortunately you're not chosen please don't take it personally it's just a hopefully you're in the right place at the right time so we can grab you and go um there's also the dogs if you happen to stay up the dogs do come out at midnight don't tell anyone All right, moving on, we have our third party, which is actually brand new. It debuted right here on Resilient, which is Club Rubik's. Now, Club Rubik's is our 80s party. It was choreographed and created by the one and the only, it's Sam and Ani, who worked on Untitled, which is currently on Scarlet and Valiant. So if you've seen Untitled and you love the vibe of Untitled, you can expect that same vibe at Club Rubik's. It is not your typical 80s party. I'm here to tell you that right now. It is fun, it is silly, it is ridiculous, and it's just, I feel like it encompasses the 80s. I mean, I wasn't alive back then, so I really don't know but <laughs> I have a great time performing in it it's kooky it's wild I say 100% go what to pack now people will literally be in all types of 80s stuff but truly as much as you want to dive into the 80s I say go for it I'm not gonna lie I get so happy when I walk out to do these parties and I see people dressed up it just gives us so much energy so every about 15 minutes or so there'll be another activation people sometimes come to Club Rubik's expecting to see a show and I'm here to tell you right now these are not shows we have performance elements within them but they're definitely parties first so please come out to the dance floor vibe mix and mingle and then if you do see us come out about to do something i say just give us some space and let us do our performance piece but it's wild it's kooky it's crazy you're going to be able to see all of the five influencers as well as the diva at club rubik's um so if you love her and you want to hang out more with her come to club rubik's because you'll get to see more of her there but yeah highly suggest club rubik's currently it's either on day two or day three but this will obviously change as our itinerary is changing but Club Rupus is amazing. Check it out, friends.
Now our fourth party is the one, the only, it's Scarlet Night. So if you've been on any Virgin Voyage before, you know what Scarlet Night is. If you haven't, y'all, it is wild, it is crazy, it is an absolute blast. There's so much to cover when it comes to Scarlet Night that I'm gonna be working on another video to explain it more in depth. But essentially, the quick version of it is that the party slash show starts at 9 p.m. and goes all the way to 10.30. The places that you wanna be are kind of the deck six, deck seven area walk around and see what you can get into. The kickoff is at 9 p.m. right there in that roundabout. Those are where the stairs are. And then I say just follow where people go and enjoy it. It's more of performances from 9 to 10.30. The real party is gonna kick off at 10.45 up on the pool deck, weather permitting. Weather not permitting, we're gonna be moving into the red room. Both versions of the finale are amazing, I will tell you. Now, the big thing that you need to know for Scarlet Night, bring some red. The finale is gonna be 10.45 up on the pool deck. You'll have the cast performing. We'll do our beautiful Scarlet Night pop song finale number. And then after that, we're gonna invite you to come on in and jump in the pool with us. Now, I will say, I've voyaged as a sailor before and there is nothing like Scarlet Night. If you can only make one party, this might be the one that I highly suggest going to. Um, if you like to go into bed earlier, this is the night that I say stay out until midnight. It's just so much fun. We'll keep an eye out for my Scarlet Night video where I'll dive in a little bit more in depth as to what you need to expect. But party-wise, 1045 pool deck, I'll see you there. Now we're moving on to our fifth party, which is We Fancy. We Fancy, honestly, is I think one of my favorite things that we get to do as a Happenings cast. This time, instead of being joined by the diva, we're actually joined by the one, the only, the hostess. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal party, if I do say so myself. Currently on Resilient, it's being scheduled on the final night, so it's kind of like our goodbye party to you all. What you should wear, what you need to pack, anything that makes you feel glorious and glamorous, I will say, as a cast, we're kind of all dressed up as kings, queens, gods, goddesses. We're all decked out in gold. So if you have something gold that you love to wear and you want to match us, I definitely suggest wearing it to be fancy. This one is a little bit more performance heavy than I feel like our other parties that we might have on other ships. Same concept, similar to Club Rubik's, where every so often the cast will just come out and we'll do a little bit number. I will say that these are a little bit more dance heavy than Club Rubik's. I love both parties equally, but we fancy sometimes we just bust out some choreo. At the beginning of the party, we actually make a line, a little hallway, and we invite you to walk down the hallway, the runway, if you will. Sometimes people get really shy and don't like to walk down the runway, so we're just standing there for nine minutes trying to get people in. So I will say, if you're at We Fancy and you see that runway happen, babe, I need you to strut down the runway for me, okay? But yeah, it's a super fun time. It's the final night of the voyage. I know that you're tired, but coming out, we're gonna end it with a bang. The really cool thing about We Fancy is that the creators actually wanted to track the emotional experience of sailors throughout the voyage. So we start off maybe a little bit shy, we get really excited, energy kind of dies down a little bit because you're sad that it's ending, and then you pick the energy back up. So it's a really, really beautiful party. The theme really lies in self-confidence and loving yourself yourself and then the hostess actually does have a beautiful beautiful vocal number in the middle of the party which I hope you get to witness. We also have cute little goodies that we will give out to specific sailors so hopefully you get one. And those are our five parties that we currently have on Resilient Lady. Please comment below which one you're most excited to witness and if you voyaged with us can you please comment below which one you love the most so other sailors can see which ones they need to keep an eye out for. If you enjoyed this video and you want some more inside scoop go ahead comment Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time and let me know what you guys want to see more of. Bye y'all. Hi everyone and welcome. Why is talking so hard?